everybody and welcome back to the True Gamer Podcast, a bonus episode here with your boy Eddie and your boy, the inverted gamer himself, Sheps. How's it going, bro? It's going good. I still haven't figured out what to do with my hands. You know, you're just like going to have to hold your, your gentleman sausage. Is what you I mean, do. I'm all down for it because it's a bonus episode. Yes. Um, I don't. Are we going to shout out our patrons over on patreon.com forward slash conversations that I think support we should. us at the top? level our super bro tier i think we should patrons, do that yes but our combo patrons right. yes our combo patrons our super bros who support us at that tier yeah our boys are diogo dildo isak the ultimate carol terivia aka cats the friendly patron record friction dan the man uh jeremy renner that's right an official avenger martin scorsese's master h bart's 12 the midget alo from smallville sabine master chief himself albiscori uh super sus ben fryer the star wars encyclopedia himself adam Sun- and the gamer of gaming shire david bindis thank you bro so much for keeping the lights the mics on and the gaming going here at combo relations that's right um this true gamer bonus episode where we are going to be talking about our impressions our early impressions yeah. of cyberpunk 2077 yep. um we both have the game we do we're both been playing it on various platforms ps5 both of us yes. um and so not various platforms then yes uh, the same just next gen PS5. I just yeah. realized what yeah. I said. Yeah. yeah. Not various platforms. Yeah. Just various one pla- in the fact that it's two di- different consoles. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not the same. Co- they're the same brand. It's like, it's both PS5, <laughs> but they're not the same unit. So they're various consoles. What we've established is that your boy Eddie, stupid. That's what we've established right there. Yeah, because we didn't know it before. We didn't know no it before. Knew. It's confirmed now. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've been playing it on PS5. We're going to yeah. talk about our early impressions. I've played it for around about 30 hours. 15 for me. 15 yeah. hours. But obviously, because you know Sheps and you know me, they're going to be entirely different things. Oh, yeah. Um, and we're going to have to be talking about that. We're not going to be talking about the the issues with the launch with CDPR in the background. We covered that in depth. Exactly. We spoke about it on the actual True yeah. Gamer podcast. Um, you guys can, can head over there and watch that episode. Yeah. It was a very, very good episode. I feel like the way we spoke about yeah. it covered everything. I'm glad we did that first, actually, because I'd said maybe we should separate everything Cyberpunk into this. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we didn't do that because I feel like both of us got a good amount off our chest about CDPR. Yes. And so now we can talk just about the game. Now we can just talk about what we yeah. what we like and what we're doing and what we're what enjoying. We like, what we don't, like. we don't Yeah, but like just the game. Yes. Forget CDPR. How's the game? And so I'm glad I'm glad we did it that way. Yeah. That was a, your idea. It was a great shout. I didn't know I was going to do that, by yeah. the way. I just thought this should probably be yeah. the way it's done. Turned out it was. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Um, also, while we're on it, yeah. I'm going to say thank you to our true gamers. Those yes. bullies. Cyber bullies. Cy- cyberpunk get it. Cyber yeah, bullies. Yeah, we, good, we got in there. Great yeah, there. We've got a the- pun as well. Free <laughs> for no charge. You know, <laughs> you guys got well yeah. five dollars because yeah. they pay five dollars in a that, Well, uh, everybody else got it for free. That's true. Those guys the got puns for free. So the patrons got ripped off, basically. Basically, um, <laughs> those guys are uh, Jeremy Horde, Record Friction, Diogo, Isak, Manny, Adam Sunling, uh, Dan, Real Cinema. I don't know why I'm stumbling on this. Real Cinema, Cats for Coral, Sab Two Five Five Seven, David Bindis, The Ultimate Audio Virgin. Uh, Albi Scori, Hooded Dude, Cobra SS, Ashton is not happy that Matt Platinum Odyssey, Benedict Clobbers, Batman vs Superman is the greatest movie, especially the ultimate cut. Um, H, uh, Max H, Fishy, and our boys are here. Thank yeah. you, bro, so much for keeping the lights and mics on and the game going here at Combo Relations. That's right. All of our true gamers are right there. Thank you so much for supporting That's us. That's right. Um, yes. I'm actually really genuinely, just because we, just before we start talking about Cyberpunk, yeah. I'm glad that this worked out the way it did because. The Conversations podcast is good fun. Yeah. And we're going to be updating you guys on Conversations Day in January. So if you're new around here, which I know a lot of you are newer, and you don't know about Conversations Day, it's a big celebration where it's like the, the first one where we launched our Patreon stuff. This one is just going to be like us hanging out. The last one was six hours. Oh, yeah. We've got quite used to streaming there. It may go longer. I was going to say, the only reason why it was six hours is because the laptop died. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, thanks to the patrons, we have the streaming rig, so it could be a like an all-day event. Fuck it. Two days. That's, that's what it. we're doing. Yeah, that's it. 
We live stream all of 2021. 2021 is going to be Conversations Year. That's, right. That's what it is right there. So look forward to that. It'll be January the 6th, did we say? Uh, we, we haven't picked a date, but last year it was the 7th. So something okay. around the first it'll week. Be, it'll be first week. It'll be early. We'll, yeah. we'll let you guys know on the Discord. Yeah. Um, we'll make an announcement video, but it's going to be an incredible day of just fun and streaming and yeah. stuff. Um, so look forward to that. We'll be announcing the the wrap up to Anime Club Season 1. We'll be announcing the next Movie Club movie. Yeah. It's just going to be a freaking awesome day to yeah. hang out. Um, I don't know why I segued into that. Uh, you was going to say something, but I don't know what it was going to be. I either. literally forgot it. Forget it. Let's talk about Cyberpunk. Let's eh? do it. All right. So Cyberpunk 2077 is out. Yeah. It's been out for just about a week yeah. now. Small game, niche game. Not many people know about it. Indie but, game, basically. Yeah. No one even knows. Actually, yeah. they are technically an indie studio. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Which is... A, kind of. Yeah, no, yeah. Not really the same. But we've been playing it. We have. Off the top. No, no specifics yet. Yeah. How are you feeling with the game? Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Go on, talk a little bit more. I'd give it eight out of ten. Really strong eight out of ten. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm because I I sort of said seven and a half to eight in the thing, but as we've spoken about it more, my experience of the game, mm -hmm. eight out of ten. Um, Got to compare it to its big brother, The Witcher Three. Yeah, not as good. Mm -hmm. uh, from things like the side content like they're different worlds it's really hard to compare fancy to a sci-fi thing mm -hmm. but things like and I'm only 15 hours in and on The Witcher I'm like 200 hours of, I've got a lot of time on The Witcher Yeah. it feels like the um, the side content which again only 15 hours haven't ha so far has not shown me that same depth that The Witcher 3 did mm -hmm. so far but I'm really enjoying it. All the main characters are fantastic. The voice acting is incredible. I'm enjoying the action and the gunplay, even though the hitboxes and the models and hit detection aren't Seems all a there. Bit janky at the moment, yeah. Yeah, I'm especially enjoying it because I watched your video about the Mantis Blades, and so I have that free legendary pair of Mantis Blades, which when I do my next gameplay, my next playthrough, which I will be doing a second playthrough, it's going to literally be the first. So my level 1V will have legendary Mantis Blades. <laughs> You're going to be like this. I, I can't even walk properly, but I've got Mantis Blades, bro. <laughs> you know in the, uh, in the promo material, V Mantis Blades, um, that guy's bouncer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be able slice, to do that. Slice, slice, stab. Yeah, I will be able to do that. <laughs> so it's that was, I'm really actually really <clears throat> appreciate, appreciative, appreciative. It's good that you did that video <laughs> because now I have those, uh, which has been cool because it was like freaking hell. Yeah. I made one mistake as well. I paid off my debt to Vic. Vic yeah. Because I was like, there prob probably not a lot of people are going to do this. Maybe open some stuff up. Paid it off. Regret it. Absolutely nothing happened, right? <laughs> as far as I could tell, it maybe changes some stuff down the line. Just so you guys know, we're not going to go deep into spoilers. No, and no spoiler like. stuff. We'll do surface level stuff. And we're I not don't gonna, know enough uh, to do spoilers. It's true. So there you go. I'm not, I'm not gonna, we're not going to be like telling you the ending or any plot no. stuff or anything like that. It's just going to be our feelings on the game, how we feel like it's going so far, whether we're excited and yeah. things like that. And but you're, you're, you're having yeah. a good time so far, 8 out of 10. I am a little bit less than okay. you, but I am still enjoying yeah. myself. I'd probably put it more close to like a 7. Okay. Um, the story so far, top notch. Yeah. Top notch. I've been playing a lot more story and doing a bit less of the side content. Okay. The voice acting, I found them all really compelling. Yeah. I love all the characters. They're all really, yeah. really cool. Uh, each one of them is very unique and whatnot. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> um, obviously, I love my Judy and whatnot, but yeah. even Ju Judy's voice. Yeah. We said it, it was it's like a little husky, it's like a little bit yeah. raspy and whatnot. Like she's just last night she was out and her voice her throat sore or something like partying, that. Partying, yeah. exactly. And something about that is just Yeah, she's got a nice voice yeah. for sure. Um, but all the characters have that sort of detail and de dedication yeah. to them. Including all v. Yes. The I'm playing as female V, you're playing as male, male v, right? v, yeah. So yeah, I mean female V sounds really good to me and sounds really yeah. I'm connecting with the character even though I'm not looking at the character, yeah. which is something people were worried about. We, I'm personally okay we spoke about this on the other the main True Gamer <clears throat> yeah. podcast that we did, but we suspect, and we've been saying this for a while, that there'll be a, a next gen patch that we'll get to so. to be to benefit from, which will give us probably third person, so. but it will also give us some extra stuff. So we suspect that just not. I got to be honest though, my V has looked like garbage. I'm so glad I haven't been able to see him early on because at one point there was like a, a corset that had the most armor. And I was like, well, I need more armor and I can't see him. So my V has this like red lacy corset on. It's a dude, a straight male V is how I'm playing this one. 
is running around <laughs> in, a corset. in a corset in shorts and like a, <laughs> a, like a, a beret or something it was awful I've that's one criticism that I do have of it is that the, the arm the gear that you get may have good stats but some of them looks absolutely garbage oh, yeah, yeah. And some I'm of like, it, well, also like why does this corset have more armor than like a, a piece of armor a standard or a military uh, vest or something, you know. It's standard fantasy logic yeah. where, like, the male's armor's like these big shoulder pads, yeah. big thing like that. Female armor, just a strap over the nipples. Yeah, yeah. Just so we're easily as good as stats. Yeah. Easily as good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I am liking the story. I'm loving the characters. Yeah. The side content so far isn't compelling me too much. There are some missions where I'm really, yeah. I like them. So at the uh, there's the the. AI car, won't say any more than that. Yeah. That mission that I played, I was like, this is actually quite well, funny. I don't think it's any spoilers to say, so it's Delamain. Delamain is a character, yeah. yeah. Is a, an AI yeah. who runs a cab business. Exactly. Which is kind of funny, yeah. Actually really funny. And when you find out more about it, it gets even better. And you're like, this is yeah. this is cool. This is, yeah, that this was is fun. Cyberpunk 2077 yeah. right here. And I was like, that's a good mission. But the way that you pick up missions, and we said this again yeah. in the Trigger Podcast... The fixes are the way that you get missions, a bit like a in lot The Witcher. Of them. Not yeah. all of them, but a lot of them. It's yeah. true. The Witcher would, would have been like the signposts in the... Yeah. The, the message like, boards. Message yeah. boards, that's right. But the way that you find them is just you go into an area and automatically they've got your phone Once number. Once you cross they over you like, up into like, Watson, you get a phone call, which, by the way, if you're getting a phone call and you don't pick it up, it just picks up after like five rings. Yeah. You can't like block... You can't just like leave anyone. And... The fix of that area is calling you up saying, I'll call you when I have jobs. And I think both of us agree that's just not the way to... I would I would have preferred it if like you cross into a new area and before you can do anything else, the game takes you somewhere or someone calls you and says, like, we need to go somewhere and sort this out because you're in somebody else's territory, you need permission or you're going to get fricked up. Yeah. Um, just something. Like the way we met the first guy, I don't remember his name, but the one with the fat guy bodyguard... Yeah, yeah. The way that we met him, he's a fixer. It was like, go upstairs and meet him in the thing over there. That was a way to get into yeah. it. And then you know, okay, this guy's a fixer. He does this thing. Uh -huh. And you get to learn about the character. These other people, I have no interest in meeting them. I mean, how hard would it be that as you cross into Watson the first time, I'm just using Watson as an example, yeah. it's one of the districts, that V decides to call, or you get a call from someone saying, hey, V, what are you doing? And then V says, oh, I'm, I've just driven into Watson. I'm going somewhere. And the guy says... Watson, that's like Johnny Two Hands is, um, or like fucking Pete the the Blades. Not the guy with two hands, right? right. That, that's Johnny Left Foot's territory. You need to you need to go and speak to him, and and clear that you're here because you're a high profile merc. Mm. You're a man for business. He needs you need to know that he's in your territory. Yeah. And then we, I think you agreed with me that if you don't take enough, a couple jobs that they give you that say there's some on timers that you have to accept, yeah. then that area becomes hostile to you because as far as you're concerned, your V and Johnny left foot yeah. have beef because you don't work for him yeah. or you wouldn't follow the protocol. And so they look at you as, as like a free agent that they don't like, someone the, that doesn't follow the rules. The only person where it was compelling <clears throat> was... um, I We've seen in the trailer Padre, the, the older yeah. man and whatnot... When I entered back in Vista Del Rey, I think Something it was, like that, yeah. um, he called me up and he's like, "Hey V, you're back in Vista Del Rey," and I was, and he, and V said like, "How do you know that?" Yeah. It seemed real, and it was like, "I've got my contacts." And yeah. I was like, "You would do because you've got contacts everywhere. Yeah, you're like a, a gang and whatnot." Yeah. And so that cool, I get it. But maybe that was because I'd met him in a previous scene that I felt the attachment to him. I agree. I had that same experience. Yeah. Otherwise, if it was anybody else, I'd have been like, "I don't care." So that was that's something that's really annoying yeah. right there. <clears throat> I will say though, I've been doing a lot of side content, obviously. Yeah, talk about some of the side content. How do you feel about it? You've done a lot more than me. I've done that quite a bit. Yeah. Um some of it I I feel busy, which is good. I yeah. feel like I always have stuff that I can be doing. Mm -hmm. Um a, a lot of it's very surface level. Like you see, anytime I see like the blue badge pop up, I'm like, cool, I just go here, murder these people, and I get a bit of money. Yeah. And some street cred. That's like cheap i wouldn't really consider it cycling it's something to do that's active right like you know when you're going through the witcher you'd randomly see like some random villager in a field getting attacked by um like drowners or something yeah. right that kind of deal um it doesn't feel like there's the depth of character but some of them do have it which is that um so this so this is a witcher thing there's a witcher mission where you end up um you're like trying to track down a vampire yeah. in Nilfgaard, 
Uh, no, wait. Where no, it was in um, Tucson, wasn't it? Where? No, no, that's the main thing. In in the main game, okay. there's a mission where you're trying to track down a vampire in... I forget what the main town in Novgorod's called, wherever it, that is. And you it ends up that it's like this priest or inquisitor or something, and when you find him, he's in a, a, cat, a whorehouse mm-hmm. with a, like, a hot poker about to like burn this whore. And the first time I played the game, I just murked him. Second time I played the game, if you talk to him, it turns out that this is perfectly consensual, like... BDSM stuff it's just what he's into and he pays really highly for it and the whore's totally down and that he's like no 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 I work for this person they're over at the docks and if you go there you actually find the real vampire but if you kill him you have no idea and that vampire continues killing people right okay yeah and so I have found a mission did you help the cop that lives below you you meant that one yeah Barry I think it is I I think I've halfway through that quest I I helped him I'm not going to tell you okay then but there are I get the impression that, um, like, some of the stuff that's optional... Yeah. Which... I, I don't know how I feel about stuff being optional. I feel like in The Witcher, it was... There are leads that you can choose to follow or not. In Cyberpunk, it just says optional thing. Yeah. I feel like that mission or his thing pans out slightly differently if you don't do or do do certain things, you know? Right. I, I didn't know you were on that mission because I wanted to talk about that because it's kind of funny. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Okay, that's good. That's good. If it's something cool that I like to experience it. Well, you see, that's the thing that I was going to say that um, mm. in terms of side content, inside side, side quests, yeah. I felt like in The Witcher, you would, like you said, stumble upon somebody getting attacked by yeah. some drowners. And then when you save that guy, he'd be all hysterical. Be like, oh, oh so I have, they've been attacking me for ages. And they've just seemed to, they've been around, but they've suddenly gone berserk. I don't yeah. know what it is. And that was the cue to investigate in the in the swamp. Exactly. And then you'd go to the swamp and then you'd find there's a nefarious thing going yeah. on over there. Yeah. And then you'd fight that. And then you'd come back like, turns out it was this. Oh, we can say, yeah. we can, uh, thank you so turns much, out Witcher. that nefarious thing was keeping some other thing out. And now that you've killed it, that other thing has attacked a different area and it leads exactly. you down this whole path. Yeah. Exactly. Whereas you kill the guys beating somebody up and the guy goes, oh, exactly. and then walks off. Yeah, like GTA NPC. And nothing happens. Yeah. Now, like. maybe this this other mission you're saying with the copy is going to be something like that. Maybe there's more of those in there that I just haven't yeah. been good enough to see. Uh, I might be... I feel like I'm reading a lot into that one mission in particular. Maybe. So let me know what you decide with okay. them. Is it Barry? I think it's Barry. I think it's Barry. Yeah, he lost his partner, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll look into that and get back to you guys. But that's how I've felt so far. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's in regards to the, the random stuff that you see in the world. Yeah. At least so far to me, the random stuff in the world seems to have no consequence whatsoever. Yeah. Which like, is a bit underwhelming. Yeah. And that's actually my main problem with whole of Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. <clears throat> The world doesn't seem too deep. Yeah, I feel you. It, it feels looks, alive, but it's not very deep. Yes, alive. Yeah. There are people everywhere. It's beautiful. There are cars. You can jack cars. You can't talk to anybody. Oh, uh, yeah. You can't go to... Any- hey, what do you want? Exactly. You talk to them, they give you a generic response. Yeah. You can't go into any buildings. Every yeah. door's locked. Yeah. But it gives you the option. Yeah. Which makes me think there's something to come in the future. I hope so. <clears throat> um, you can't go to a bar and sit down and get drunk or start a drinking game or ha- hit on someone or anything yeah. like that. You can go yeah. to the um, afterlife place yeah. and there's music playing. or No, the place where the moxes are. What are they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Lizzie's, with yeah Lizzie's, bar. Lizzie's bar. You go there, there's music playing, but there's nothing to do there. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. And the, the only and there's, there's no like there. I feel like there were multiple romanceable options, like say in The Witcher of like side characters. Yeah. Apparently, there's only two romance options so far. Anyway, I don't know if that's true. That's what I hear. I actually know of three. Okay, but still, fair. I mean, because that's the, still kind of low. I, but like in in The Witcher three, there are you have to round up a couple of witches for um, Yen and Triss, and you can romance at least I think two of those, mm-hmm. and you can romance Yen and Triss. You can romance that chick. Who gets us to in the one that you go down and fight, fight the frog with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's, there's plenty of people to do, plus <clears throat> whorehouses, right? Yeah. As far as I can find, there's a couple of romanceable options. And if you go to, you can go to a, the joy to a hooker. Yeah. Like, a, there should just be some stuff that you can do. 
Especially I don't know. because the world is supposed to be supposed to be real, supposed to be lived in, yeah. and it's supposed to be a dirty, scummy place. Mm. And dirty, scummy is going to have hookers. Yeah. It's going to have yeah. the most dirty things going on in the background. Yes, the world is filled with dildos. Yeah. Yes, that that's is true. weird. Yeah, that is strange. Yeah. So yeah, you're a great, also, you know, realism. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, you can do drugs and stuff in this game. Yeah. Hopefully, if you do enough, you must then need to take drugs, or you start getting damaging effects. That's the thing because in I hope you do in The Witcher. Yeah. If you took too many potions, eventually your toxicity would yeah. go too high and stuff like that. So I want it so that you're also dependent on it. If you do enough drugs oh. and don't get toxic, let's say you do enough drugs, like every all the time you find a certain thing, you do it, then it's it, like the game's like you haven't done, you know, cyber boost in six hours with the draw so, symptoms, right? So your movement speeds reduced by fifteen percent, and uh, your time to like pull out a gun is increased by three seconds yeah. because you're like shaky and stuff. I want that in the game. Yeah. I want if my if my character's gonna be a net runner junkie and I'm gonna kinda of like RP it. Yeah. I wanna I want to need to find drugs. In terms of the, the items and stuff yeah. like that, I haven't been I haven't really experimented with anything other than the inhaler thing to give yeah, me yeah. health. I've seen other things uh, available where, like, a bit more like The Witcher, where it gives you an initial boost yeah, yeah. and then over the next 60 seconds you get more yeah, things yeah. like that. But I've never used and them because I have the unlimited versions of food. this thing. Like, don't forget to use the food. Yeah. Because that gives you, like, beneficial effects and yeah. stuff. This thing, I haven't, I haven't felt the need to. Yeah, it's just, so like, far. extra stuff. Like, if you're going into a really tough area, yeah. do it because it gives you some health regen and stuff. and stuff. But, like, playing The Witcher, you... I mean, I'm not going to say you played it wrong, but the ideal way to play The Witcher is to constantly be using like your oils signs. potions signs uh, decoctions yeah. and I've, I watched you stream both of the DLCs and you annoyingly use them very infrequently yeah which is nothing wrong with that that's the way you wanted to play it's it like, the boss is here what kind of boss is he that's the only time I'll use it <laughs> right but there was so much you can just have a lot of this stuff running um and you know like that's not it's not like the right way to play it but it's in the game and it gives you a boost and stuff like that anyway yeah. that bugged me because that's the way i played the witcher <laughs> um so you know i use the the food and stuff that's what so you're doing. using it more in cyberpunk then you're, yeah. you're finding a use well for not those. more but every now and then oh you're I'll, using yeah, them yeah because yeah. i'm worth not doing. using them yeah. at all it's worth doing. Doing. Mm. Um, have you tried the crafting no Do, it doesn't make any sense to me no i don't i just don't get what the point is like so i went to try it one time yeah. it was like the wall of like it's like an outline of a gun and yeah. then like a color yeah. and i was like I went on one and I didn't have the stuff for yeah. it. I was like, how do I get the stuff for it? Right, it hasn't exactly. really been told. I don't really understand. Exactly. And then I'm also finding plenty of good enough guns. I don't I yeah. feel like I need to do this thing. That's another thing. I'm finding weapons. How you, yeah, exactly. How are you finding the um, hacking? Do you know how it works? Yeah, I am. Because I figured it out. It's a little bit... Maybe you figured out how to do it properly. Yeah. Because I've, I've figured out how to do it. Like, I look at... I can hack people. And like I had cameras and stuff like yeah. that. Every now and again, I bust a, like a, a, a short circuit on a person yeah, yeah, yeah. or blind a person, reset optics or something like that. But I don't find it as effective as I feel like it should be. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, okay. So I was just going to say, you know, like the you have to put in the the code to hack stuff. Oh, that stuff. Yeah. So I know how to get. Usually, it's like one of the lines, yeah. and I go for the one that's going to net the most at the bottom. And it's like it was like fifty five one D one E. Yeah. And then I get the bottom line one. But is there yeah. a way to get all of them? Or to there really is. Ep yeah. Epic lead of it? Basically, so to answer the first question about hacking people, I'm not really huge on stealth. At least this version, I'm running a, a pistol solo. It's all say, about just murdering people. When you, when you ever. <laughs> right. Um, but I did use it. I got a mission from a monk yeah. uh, who was all like cybernet all cybernetics and stuff. And V was like, uh, didn't you take a vow not to do this? And the guy's like, yeah. But Maelstrom kidnapped me and my brother, and they did this to me because they thought it was funny. Can you please save my brother? And I was like, oh shit, down. So, also, I freaking. Uh, Maelstrom freaking make me feel sick. They are very. Yeah, do, Royce, do not like his face at all. They, you know, when he was looking to the side and it's like cratered in, I'm Blah. like. And um, I do dum wish dum, you could. I do wish you could. Oh yeah, dum dum. Dum dum's skin because it's like yeah. patches yeah. and there's like bits in between. I'm like, what the fuck is I do wish yeah. you could go Borg conversion in. In Cyberpunk, I think that would be cool to do, but I also want, I would love to see that in the DLC that you could go that far. Mm. And I would also love to see, like, first of all, your romance options dry up. Mm. Right, no one wants to frick that. 
I ain't touching that. Yeah, even if you get a Sibian installed, right? <laughs> um, or, a, or a flashlight or whatever. Flashlight, use flashlights.com. Use um, flashlights.com. <laughs> but, you know, I'd like to also see, like, a lot of people won't talk to you, but suddenly Maelstrom are all about you. Yeah. You know, stuff like that, right? You're our bro. Right. Because um, I feel like they've been made to look like a clear villain. Yeah. Um, and the gangs are gangs, but not necessarily clear villains. Like, the Corpos are the big villains in this game, right? Um, so I... He said, look, I'd really appreciate if you would do this but not kill anyone and also I can't pay but the universe will pay you back. And I was like, maybe this is the game, if I do it this way, I will find something or something, it will unlock something further down the road yeah. or maybe they'll come back and be useful. So I did do that and I did like hack a thing and distract this enemy and then stealth this guy and move him around and then blind that guy and stealth this guy and put his right. body in a thing. Um, but So to the, the puzzle where you have to do that thing, uh, the basic gist is that the first one unlocks a column, right? Right. Yeah, the columns. So you need to find... You, the next one in the sequence. But then when you look down to the next one, you need to look horizontally. Yeah. yeah. And then that, whatever you pick, it goes vertical again. Yeah, it goes... So you yeah, go like switches. down, across, up, across, down. So you need to right. plan out... If you plan that out... Multiple moves ahead. Yeah, and I, I've started to get... There's a couple of these weird like antennas, which once I figured this out, it's actually... I don't, I don't think it's a great hacking system. It's like a mini game, but it's okay and you can figure it out. There are these weird little antennas in places that show up red on the mini map and you can hack them. And all that happens is if you do the easy one, you get a small amount of euro dollars and some basic right. components. But at the bottom, you can get some really good stuff. Yeah. And I got something like a legendary piece of cyberware out of it. Damn. Yeah, and like 600 euro dollars. I was going to say, I've had money and components out of it before, but never yeah. had anything like legendary cool yeah. out of it. Damn. Yeah, that might have been a special one that I found. Maybe, yeah. But, um, you know, it, it's worth knowing how to do it. Yeah. Just in case, like, um, you have to fight a, one of those big bot things and you can hack it. Like, a, I'm not sure, but I think if you do, if you hack and breach, you know, the breach, which is zero yeah. um, rams, it reduces how much yes. the next thing. So you might f suddenly be able to hack the thing that was, it was 12 ram, but you breach it. But you're doing the puzzle, and then yeah. it comes down to four, and it's manageable. Exactly, yeah. So it might be worth... Maybe we do a tutorial on how to do the hacking puzzle. The hacking has been okay so far. I've not found it as integral as I felt like it should have been. I agree. Yeah. I, I'm also not so sure. Like, in my head, before the game came out, I wanted to play, like, the solo who does, mm. like, with the man's <clears throat> blades, and then, like, the Netrunner stealth guy, and then the... Uh, I don't know, there's something else with the samurai sword. Mm. And I don't feel that running like a net runner is going to be worth it. I was I was hoping I was hoping that each style would have been as beneficial yeah. or have the 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 des, the allure. Each one of them will have its own yeah. really big allure. Like you would just go, <clears throat> man, I really want to play yeah. as a huge brooting force. Yeah. And then go, okay, I've done that. Now I want to play as just a stealthy hacker. Yeah. And I just want to play as an assassin. I just want to play as this. I said assassin. Now people are just going to tune in for that. Assassino! Assassino! Um, I mean, we have the hidden blades, right? Exactly, we do. They're hidden in your arm. The best version of hidden blades. And, <clears throat> like the best version of hidden blades, they're not one-hit kills. Exactly. That's like the, the important version. thing, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's not. No. I thought it was going to be like that, and it wasn't. Now... We've we've had our theories yeah. that maybe this game is going to open up when there's so. a content update patch, for yeah. next gen. Uh, it's going to be more than just a visual update, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But we can't rest our, our hopes on that. We have to base it on what it is now, yeah. and it doesn't seem like that. Like you remember when we when we were at EGX mm -hmm. and the guy was playing through uh, playing through very on rails. Yeah. And he comes somewhere, and it looks like there's stairs to the left. And an open, like, an air vent that you can get through. Yeah. Like, I presume that for almost every single mission, including side content and stuff, that there would be the... I mean, even if it's just split into two, like, take everything head-on, go super loud, or, like, crawl into the air vent. Hack the thing so it stops the fan blade so you can get in. Mm. Um, distract that enemy so he goes here. Stealth this guy. And then hide his body here and then hack the door so it's locked. And then hack this thing so that the crane drops and kills three guys. Yeah. Right? doesn't look like that's there and and it doesn't from what they have in the game could absolutely be there yeah it could be Seems and right. i don't see why it isn't you know it's a shame do you know what um i think uh, amir 
Amir the Synth Potato, I think he wrote in, yeah, he wrote into our, our podcast channel, and he wrote down, he goes, um, have you ever felt so disappointed yet so in love with a game this hard before? I really hope CDBR pulls a No Man's Sky and completely turns this game around because it's so close to being an absolutely amazing game, it's just that the bugs and a few missing parts weigh it down. And the missing parts that he mentions, because he mentioned this on Twitter, yeah, yeah. it's things like, things that are immersion breaking um, and, like la- like and, and lacking immersion. So the bugs break the immersion, but there's okay. also a lack of immersion in the first place. So like, he can't, you can't go to a bar and sit down, yeah. which is a part of the world. And how yeah. can you not get immersed in the world? And you can't talk to anybody, like we've mentioned as well, yeah. and stuff like that. And it seems weird because you can talk to people in like The Witcher. Yeah. Not everybody, but you think like, they would have iterated on The Witcher and got even further. Like anywhere you go... Like if you go to a marketplace, yeah. you can't talk to everyone in the market, but no. there's a few quite key people in the market that you can talk to and strike up a conversation, learn some information, maybe get a mission, yeah. maybe ask for some questions. And you, you can't do that in this. There's all, there's like no one, even people that have like markers above their heads and stuff, if you go to talk to them, there's, they, you can't do anything unless they're you, someone to talk to. Specific. You. Yeah, yeah, like mission crit- critical person. It does seem like in some spaces they've taken a step back. I feel that. And it's a bit disappointing. I The story, as I said, you haven't played so much of the story no, yet, but you will get there. I just sat down with... No, that's not true. So I sat down with Takamura, All right. Um, who told me his thing, which... That's actually I'm, when it gets really interesting. <laughs> this is the thing. So, like, the main characters, the people that you get FaceTime with, are really interesting. Like, Takamura, he's a fascinating character who's, who's clearly got a deep backstory, like, yeah. which we may never know, right? But someone has sat down and gone, okay, he spent 40 years in the service to the Arasakas. Mm. He's going to be connected to these guys within Arasaka. Mm. He may know that guy at Militech. He knows this fixer, right? And he's like, I'm pursuing this line of questioning. Um, I need your help for this other thing. Once we get enough stuff together, I'm going to put these three people in in contact with the information and we'll play out this thing, mm. right? The only problem was, as soon as that finished and I wanted to go and check that out, I come out, well, speak to Johnny Silverhand, mm. come out of the bar, find this graffiti, and now I've got to find 20 pieces of graffiti. <laughs> and that's what I was doing when you told me you'd finished work and you were coming here. I was seven pieces of graffiti in before I go and speak to Misty. Oh. Because you can just go and speak to Misty, but I want to see all this graffiti. Oh. So that's what I was doing. That's bloody hilarious. <laughs> I'm not even joking, that's what I was doing. So I have 15 hours into it, and I've literally just met Tak- Takamura, and instead of finding out this fascinating conspiracy, because it's, gr- it's really well written, Yeah, I'm finding, gra- <laughs> I'm finding graffiti. Do you know... Um... I have a problem, man. <laughs> I have a problem. Do you know what's funny as well? You were streaming... Um, Demon Souls last night. Yeah. And Adam said something. Adam suddenly goes, oh, he's probably just finished the heist and uh, he's been bumming around doing side content, which is where I was. <laughs> and I was like, is is that shit showing on my game thing? Like, does it, does it say how far I'm into the main mission? Because I was like... He says what? <laughs> I was like, does it say that? I literally said it. I was like, is that stuff public? He literally called because, you. Because it looked like he signed into his PlayStation and checked where I was and it said, just finish the heist or whatever the next mission is. It says 2% in yeah. doing side content. It's 4% by the way, yeah. <laughs> so I'm 15 hours in, I'm 4% <laughs> into the story. It's where I'm at. It's how I, I have a problem. <laughs> the worst thing is I consider myself an FPS gamer. Yeah. But... Clearly, I'm not, because I've spoken so much about like Mass Effect and, and this stuff, but <laughs> I'll let you know if the side content's any good, because I'll have done all of it. Yes, please. That's uh, that, At least I'll get to know about that. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? There was something else know. about Immersion that I was going to say about uh, uh, Clues of Questline. Immersion-breaking oh, stuff. So, one thing that I found, that's, but this is a bug and whatnot, and I hope it gets sorted... Have you found that some of the dialogue as well has been a bit off? Oh my god! So you know how I do all the side content, all the I go all the through, possible uh, questions. I go through like all of that, all of it, yeah, all of it, because I want to know what they say so that when I run a net run or, or a nomad, and I pick that other blue option with the different thing, where it says like corpo or nomad, right? I want to know what I don't know when I'm running a nomad, but yeah. I did know as a corpo or vice versa. Yeah. So I go through all of that stuff. The worst one I had, though, was that bug kicked in after I asked the first blue question, so I couldn't progress the thing. I had to reload it. That was so irritating and, and immersion-breaking. That, that, I feel, is actually one of the worst um, and most disappointing bugs. Mm. Like, the crashes suck, 
but because I'm on a PS5, it's like 30 seconds to get back into it. Mm. And some of those... Um, so, so, like, the world-building stuff, they do really well. Like, the radio stuff. One yeah. of those is a guy... It's like Jimmy Q or something, speaking to a police lady. I don't know if you've listened to that. Yeah. And it's like... Uh, you, you, I hope you were okay getting here. No carjackings. She's like, her, no, it's fine. He's like, oh, that's funny because on the freeway there was a firefight with seven hundred rounds. But <laughs> it took you thirty minutes to respond to it. Blah blah blah. And the lady's like defending it, like, no, 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 that was outside of Night City limits. We're actually not even supposed to go out that far, but we sent Night City guys out there. And he's like, seven hundred rounds, thirty minutes. She's like, yeah, but we only have a duty to people inside Night. City. So it's building, yeah, like Night City and the stuff. Um, and also there's a lot of people talking about like, oh, such and such happened in Arasaka. So what's the new play going to be in? How do we feel about the, there's some ship that they've docked yeah, in the bay. Yeah, it's the name of the whale, right? Yeah, like, it's called the whale in yeah. Japanese. And uh, that that's all very funny and, and yeah. helps to build the world. Um, so it, like little things like that, they're, they're so good. Like the news pops up and then an ad comes up for some like, it looks like porn, but then it's a, a drink. You know, yeah, or like Milf Guard or something like Milf that. Milf Guard, yeah, which is a great throwback. Yeah. Also, I found Siri, as far as I know, yeah, um, which I, I, little Easter egg. You need to tell me how to record like in detail, properly record on the PlayStation Five, and I'll make a little tutorial about how to do that. It's not much. I hope there's more. I hope there's more that comes in in. Well, this is the content thing. DLC. I, I, we had our hopes that we spoke about the um the, the mission, the yeah. Siri mission, our dream mission, how it would go. Totally fan made and totally stuff like fiction, that. Yeah. But how do you feel about the realistic possibilities of that happening now having played a bit of it? I could see it coming in DLC. I could. Mm. I doubt it's in the game. I was going to say, I don't feel like it would be in there. I don't feel like, well, like the rest of the game is at that level. CDPR said something like they don't want Cyberpunk to be a Witcher like alternate universe or something. Yeah, or, or, or in that same universe. But it's, like, but it's a, literally a different world. It's okay. There's yeah. no... It, it doesn't need... And also, it's not like you bring Siri in for like a random Easter egg mission. Then we're yeah. like, it's not Cyberpunk, yeah. guys. Yeah. It's Witcher it's, Four. Yeah, it's Witcher exactly. Four, guys. We're not hanging out with Siri and Geralt. We're following <laughs> this unknown, like the follow the White Rabbit kind of thing. Yeah, and we know, and we can put. I would actually like if you don't really know it's Siri. Like if you yes. if you suspect, and if there's enough Easter eggs that the most you can get to is, boys, I think this is Siri, mm. right? That there's enough. Enough there, enough connections. She said some weird things and, and like describes some things bizarrely and does some strange thing and then they disappear. That like it is Siri, but you don't see it. No one calls her Cyrilla of yeah. Nilfgaard or whatever, right? And Geralt isn't with her and they're not talking about like killing monsters, right? It's <coughs> that really hurt. <laughs> it's so I could see it coming in DLC. I don't think it's in the game, which is mm. super disappointing to me. Yeah. And this whole like, oh, we don't want Cyberpunk to be a, uh, uh, in the universe of, like, frick you. It's totally plausible. There's no because as far as we know, so, um, The Witcher doesn't take place on Earth. Yeah. So it's perf and Siri's been to the Cyberpunk world. It's canon. Yeah. He men she mentions it. She yeah. literally all but names it. Yeah. So it's totally canon that she's not on Earth and she comes to Earth in 2077. So, anyway, uh, it's um. So from that aspect, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. I get that. What I feel like we have here, and uh, we must be for like a good like uh, forty minutes, so not bad. Standard. Um, yeah. What I feel like we have here is a good story. Yeah. With good characters. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I totally agree. Good voice actors. Yeah. Decent gunplay system. Yeah. And with little bugs and whatnot. Yeah. That can be ironed out and whatnot. Some nice vehicles. Yeah. Very bare bones in that department. I agree. And a world that seems to be very big, but not very deep. Yeah. And that's kind of it. That's kind of... That bugs me. Like, one of the things Ghost to Tsushima got really well is that Tsushima, the island, feels alive. Yeah. And Night City feels... In some places, it feels very busy. I still think, and this will probably change in the next-gen patch, that there aren't enough people out on the street in a lot of areas. But I think the, there are the, some people. The Xbox Series X, because they've got a paid promotion with the thing, they've got a dedicated mode called Quality Mode. Right. And it's I think it's lower frames per second, but then they boost the number of people that are in the Yeah, thing. I wouldn't choose that. But okay. Exactly. Yeah. But I think um, what it is is that... So that's the... The mode that it's so when the next gen patch comes in, then I guess that would be something they up as well on the PS5. Yeah, there'll be more people 
the frame rate would be good I as want well, to keep more the frame textures. Rate, yeah, yeah. I, don't get me wrong; there are enough people, yeah. but not really enough for Night City. Yeah, right. It's just there aren't enough people. It's not busy enough all the time and in the areas that you would expect it to be busy. Like even going through a couple of little tunnels, you'd expect there to be a couple of homeless people doing a drug deal. You would think, right? right? Something, but it's just empty. And then you go down a road of like a. a a main-ish road and there's like three people walking like yeah there are people but it's not as it's night city yeah. this should feel like london times 20 or times 10 or something right mm-hmm. it should always be quite busy um so that's kind of uh i agree with you it, it doesn't it feels kind of shallow yeah and it's, but i like it i'm still enjoying the game that's the thing the main story stuff is so good that's what's really annoying so because far. They've. That was the one thing we thought that they would drop the ball on. Yeah. What could drop the ball yeah. on? We thought. And we haven't finished, by the way. So they it, could. Exactly. The ending could suck. We don't know. We thought they could just suck at the story, and then all of this world yeah. will be for nothing. We were worried it was going to be great side content with no meat in the middle. Yeah. Exactly. And then it turns out they've done the opposite, which is so strange because that was the stuff they were better at before. Yeah. The side content really killed it. So we had a couple of guys that wrote in. Yeah. So is there anything else you wanted to say just before I move on to some of the guys? No, let's talk, I, mean, I was going to talk about some of the glitches and stuff. But Go on, can, talk about, let's talk about the glitches. Well, unless it's in the questions. There are in, in some of the questions, so we can talk about it as well with that. Okay. Um, I asked the guys to write in with their, their thoughts on the game so far, spoiler free, and also what platform they're playing on yep. as well. By the way, if you're new and you didn't know where we were talking about, they wrote in on patreon.com forward slash conversations and our Discord, which is genuinely the greatest place to hang out on the internet and that's not just because it's self-promotion but it it's so cool like if twitter goes down uh, twitter went down i'll find something else to do if discord goes down i'm lost what do i do yeah, what do people do when discord is now <laughs> why do i even have electricity what's right. the point you're just wasted <laughs> yeah um uh, our boy BQ Overlord wrote in and he goes I'm playing on PS5 I'm enjoying Cyberpunk yeah, I've had it. so many game crashes Yeah, I think that's frustrating like I'm pretty much straight back into the game after but it happens more and more the longer you play they really need to fix it I'm loving the RPG aspects it's such an immersive game so really just the, the bugs are bugging him so much I actually agree so like this is one of the reasons I bet it's probably unplayable on previous gen mm-hmm. because the PS5 is so fast. Yeah, I've had a few. I'm 15 hours in. I've probably had. I don't want to overshoot. It's like five to ten crashes. Mm-hmm. So it's a good handful. Yeah, a noticeable amount. Um, and ten's probably too high. Five yeah. to seven, let's say. And I'm back in so quick. Yeah. And because it auto saves quite often, and I've been saving since the first crash, I save any time I get something cool or do something great, I save it. Thank God for that quick save function. And it's fast as well. Yeah. So I'm back in pretty much where I was very within a minute. Yeah. Easily within a minute. But on a PS4, that's got to be hard. It's gonna what's a three minute load time? Or something? I bet it's a good chunk from like dead game to booting back in and with how badly apparently it's running on the ps4 so yeah. you're you're sacrificing in what you're seeing yeah. and you're having to crash and it's a chore to load back up again so it is kind of immersion breaking for sure yeah i will say a lot of the guys wrote in um fortunately a lot of our bros have ps5s they're like lucky That's ones good, and yeah. whatnot um and the, the 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 narrative seems to be if you're playing on a ps5 you're getting those bugs and you're getting those crashes every now and again but so, but other than that, it's bearable. Yeah. Everything's working. My well. experience is totally bearable. Exactly. Whereas on the previous gen, it's just not the it's yeah. just just not the case. Um, also, I, I wrote and I was like, uh, make a nice little paragraph, guys. Please yeah. don't make it too long. And I wrote Diogo just to yeah, be as a yeah. joke and whatnot. And then I end up having people writing fucking essays on here. But- do they at least paragraph it, or is it all just block text? There are some paragraphs in some of them, Dude. but the problem is, is that we we're gonna have to do a two hour show just to read all of these out. <sighs> so I'm gonna to I'm gonna summarize some of them okay. for you. Okay, cool. some of the, I'm sorry, guys. I did ask for a small thing. You broke the rules. That's yeah. it. Get fricked. <laughs> but also, and this is this is true, which is that both of our reading isn't. I mean, I thought I was good at reading, but when you do it on camera, it goes out the window, and then when it's like a book is different because it's curated to be read in a certain way. Yeah. But when it's someone's like consciousness stream just come out into words Doesn't work. and they're the, they're speaking in a way that they would normally speak in their inflections and there isn't the punctuation there and it's one block text instead of paragraphs and stuff, it gets very easy to like lose your place yeah. or put your own emphasis in the wrong place and then suddenly what you said doesn't make doesn't any work. sense and then you lose your spot. So bear with us, boys. We're really sorry. <laughs> 
Ho Ho Hood, uh, our boy Felipe writes, writes in, he says, he's on PS5, it crashes pretty much every time I'm away from the city centre and I go back to that place. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, uh, I'm enjoying it, gunplay is fun, story missions are top notch and yeah. I have done some si- amazing side quests, but it's clear to me that they cut a lot of things to make the release happen yeah. and it's still not good enough on console. It runs okay on PS5, but it's so often blurry and not optimised. Yeah. I think the whole game so the whole thing is management it's a management fuck up uh bad planning then cutting corners to release it everywhere trying to be the good guy that nobody that nobody is truly happy yeah, with yeah. exactly I feel you. um a quick tip for anybody who is playing it you probably played a lot of it now and maybe it's a bit too late i found this tip out on reddit where if you turn off Chromatic, I'm so glad you told me this, yeah. Chromatic ab- abrasion or something like that? Chromatic abrasion. Yeah, and, and film grain. Yeah. Turn those two off and it looks 100 times better. Way better. I don't know why they've put that on. Make it blurry. That's what we want. Yeah, it's weird because if you turned really quickly with all that on, I, I was getting like, um not seasick, but like that same feeling of like, yeah. oh, like I turned too quickly. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. That wobbly, some reason, yeah, yeah, something was off. Really I'm really odd. glad you told me that, yeah. I don't know why. Um, our next boy, uh, Uma, he says, uh, on Xbox One X, he's playing it here, so technically previous gen, but on the higher end yeah, of previous gen. Like the, the best previous gen. Yeah. Exactly. So far, I'm enjoying the game. The story, it, gameplay, and what it has to offer is top notch. Uh, I'm, I haven't been through any bugs yet. Oh, really? That's Damn. good. Uh, sorry, I haven't been through any bugs yet in in the game which is a good start but it does freeze for like six seconds randomly that's something that i noticed that's a really weird bug that's only on the that. xbox no it's only on okay. the xbox i don't know what it is and <coughs> digital foundry couldn't figure out what the fuck it is mm. it just randomly like i saw the gameplay it just drops to zero frames and then comes and back. then comes back it's not like you you turn up somewhere else you yeah. immediately start from the same i don't know what the deal is i said what happened does that happen in combat like and if that happens do you continue to get shot at no, or, it, so it's like, like it pauses pause the game. Okay. But I don't understand. That's weird. They, they, they even they um the David Letterman guy as well. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're like, we have no idea what this is. <laughs> we don't understand what's going on. Well, here. I'm glad he hasn't had any bugs. That's good. <laughs> That's damn good. Um, also, whenever I'm driving, the frame drops, uh, which makes the driving aspect a downgrade, yeah. which is a bit shit because the driving isn't the best. The driving in the world. isn't the best. It also, like the acceleration is biz- is weird. And some cars have shitty brakes as well. You just keep going. Yeah, some are really bad. Yeah. The map needs to zoom out just a and little bit. And the turning's bit. weird. Yes. Oh, the map does need to zoom out because you, you come over a cross section and then you're halfway over it and it turns out, oh, you need to go right. I need to go. Th- yeah. I need th- that, that was where I needed to go. <laughs> it's, it's not It's not great. Um, okay, interestingly though, you said, and I think this is a great point, so I want to bring it up, that these are the guys that made The Witcher. Yeah. In The Witcher, you could customize your beard and your hair and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is cyberpunk. This is all about customization. You got, there aren't even hairdressers here. Exactly. Like you do that whole cut. You said you said you do that whole cu- character customization screen, and then you can never. It's never comes back. You can never change anything. It seems entirely useless. Uh, once you've made it, it's done because you're not even looking at them unless you're changing stuff in your inventory. In a world, in a in a in a, a game that's based in a world. That is entirely about customizing and modifying your body to yeah. be a different type of person, yeah. to be something else. Yeah. You cannot even change your hair, your look, add anything to yeah. you after the initial right. screen. And some of the stuff in there is completely pointless. Yeah. You think that maybe if you change like your scars on your face or you put those cyberware in your face or you don't do them, you'd be yeah. reacted to differently. Yeah. Or even if you make your boobs huge or tiny or your penis large or small or you have a vagina instead of a penis if you're a male yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and vice versa, none of that makes a difference. At all, yeah, nothing. It doesn't At least so anything. far. Yeah, as far as we can tell. And I don't understand why. Like, for what example... What is that for? I think Judy's gay. I think. I don't know yet. That's what people got, tell me. Yeah, I got the, Luckily, I picked a female. <laughs> I got the impression from her and... What is that lady's name? That you pick up the heist quest from at Lizzie's. Uh, Elizabeth Parker. Yes, Parker. I get the impression that they, they have a thing. That's how I, I took it. But, like, if you're running a male V with a vagina or a female V with a penis, like, maybe she should go for one of those and mm. not the other. Like, maybe she's like, oh, you're a female. Yeah, but I'm not into dicks. Mm. You're like, oh, you're a dude. But you don't have a vagina. Like, and she's, she goes, I'm into chicks. And, you, and then you say, well, actually, I have a vagina. 
And she'd be like, oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, surely that should... No, but for it real, should be something, it, It's something right? you're able to customize. Yeah. Right? You can make this choice. Why does it have no impact? And I know it's silly we complain about romances, but yeah. we spoke about Mass Effect in the last two gamer um, podcast. Like, I've been through that game multiple times. I've romanced all the options. I've specifically played as a female shepherd so I could get those male romances mm. to see what the to explore the rest of the character i fell in love with these characters right they're so good like morden's one of my favorite characters of all time and that means nothing to you but so of course i want to romance him and find out like what is that like what does it look like when i watch this one character romanced by a female a female yeah right or, or vice versa if there's a gay character i would do that well I, if if a character has a preference and you meet the preference because you're late, you're able maybe unknowingly in the customization to pick a set a set of options that fit sure, to see what that's like. Right? Maybe that should mean that like she do, maybe she's like specifically not into guys. So it doesn't matter if you're male and have a vagina. She'd pick the female with a a, a, dick. a penis. Yeah. Like that that should impact things. Yeah. Yeah. And I would like to see that at least add or take away certain dialogue options. The dialogue options that you couldn't get any other way. Right? I agree. Like, why not? I agree. So it bugs me, especially in a game that's this big, that had this much hype, that was made by the guys that made The Witcher. And The Witcher had a lot of similar stuff. Mm. And so now in a, where, in a place where instead of having to play Geralt, you can customize things. Why can't... Why don't even those... I want all my decisions to make an impact. Like maybe she's really into you, but because you picked weird, freaky cyber eyes, yeah. she's like, I'm really into you, but those eyes creep me out, man. And then it doesn't mean you can't romance her, but you got to like, she's got to really warm to you because you picked certain things that she doesn't vibe with or he doesn't vibe with. Or maybe that right. because of that, you're like, maybe I can go, can I go change myself to see if I right. can meet her thing? And then you go, oh, you got a, yeah, I really like it. And then right. suddenly it opens up for Yeah, you. like if she specifically says, oh, sorry, I don't like dicks. And you're like... One second, let me just head to the Where's river. Where's that knife? <laughs> and you go back to Vic and you're like, Vic, I met this chick, but she doesn't like dicks. Take like, it off. Yeah. We, let's sw- let, swap me out for, <laughs> for a, a Cooch Master 2570, right? <laughs> right? And then you get it and you come back to Judy after doing some would stuff. Would you like the self-cleaning cum drip tray? Oh, yes, I would, please. Thank you very much. And then, you know, you, you do some other questions, come back to Judy, you do another question, come back and suddenly there's this dialogue option where you like hit on her and she's like, dude, I told you I'm not into dicks. And you're like, oh, well, it's funny you mentioned that because, you know, look, I got there. the free flow <laughs> 3000 down here, right? Like, and then she goes, huh, huh. You well, know, I'll see what's up. Right. Or, or maybe she's like, okay, well, you're still a dude, so, but I'm liking where you're going, yeah. right? And then suddenly the romance, which was off the cards, is like back on the cards, but it's more difficult because you are a guy, but you've got yeah. the junk that she likes and you've impressed her, but you are a guy. So right? you need to work hard. Right? Yes. Yeah. One other thing that I, I wanted to bring up, Celia, is because you, you mentioned like imp- decisions that you make making yeah. impacts. So far as I can tell, other than a few dialogue options that doesn't seem to make a massive impact, yeah. I choose them every time because there are not extra options there. Your life path doesn't seem to make a difference. Yeah. I've not noticed anything that's amazingly different, something that's made me go, ah, glad I was a street kid. Yeah. Glad I was a street kid right here, otherwise this could have gone poorly. Yeah, I agree. So, like, the uh, the mission where you have to get the flathead from the Maelstrom, yeah, the Maelstrom guys. Um, so it's in I, the trailers and stuff yeah, so we don't it's in the trailers anything. right exactly so um, you can speak to Meredith Stout yeah and I did and I used the corpo thing and I well it's not like it went better because presumably you can still do that if you're a nomad or whatever but it looks like the decisions you make in the game in your playing through the mission have more of an impact than your life path did which I'm not mm. a fan of I mean let me rephrase that I'm a fan of your decisions not making an impact Right, so like she gives you um, some money, yeah, but it's like got a tracking virus on it or something, yeah. And so if you pay for the thing, then she can track the money or something. In my version of the events, um, I killed everybody because I like to go loud, so I'm playing it. Yeah. Also, also in the options because uh, it's to do with Royce, like you can either draw down on him or, or kill him. Mm-hmm. I wanted to pull my gun out. But I didn't get the option. Ah, because you could throw down. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, well, if I press the thing. Yeah. So I pressed the thing and killed him. And I was like, well, it's cool because I want to fight everybody. And yeah. I want to get in gunfights. 
but I get the impression that had I not done that, it might have gone a different way. I could have paid for the flathead, mm. and then it, because in my version, I didn't pay for the flathead, she didn't get to track it, so she's out of the picture. Mm. So maybe if I had paid for it, she'd be in the picture again. But I'm de- I was dealing with somebody else. So you need to tell me later on how much of a role Mary the Stealth, Stealth well, pl- pays, plays. Because she was still there at the end, right? No. Oh. She wasn't because I didn't pay. Right. So mine isn't... She isn't with me anymore, but for a different reason. So that's one good we'll thing. We'll need to talk about this after. I was going to say... Did, what, did, she, did you get the money with the virus? I did. Did you use it? I did, but I detected the virus. And you removed detect- it. Okay, so I copied it and didn't remove the virus. So so we'll next playthrough, we leave the virus and... So that's uh, that's... That's made me a little bit happy right there because that was a, right. mo- a multiple different ways to do this. Yeah. So I I expect that if you leave the virus and don't kill everyone, like I presume you can just buy the flathead and leave. Yeah. Did is that what you did? Uh, I I gave the money. And, yeah, yeah. Right. Because I killed Royce and then got in a gunfight with everybody yeah, there I gave and the money, left yeah. no survivors because that's how I play the game. Because the money was clean for me, I was like. Hey. Right. So I don't know if you can do it and they don't detect it. We need to play through it again and see. Or maybe someone in the comments has done it. And then I, I get the impression that if you do that and she can track the money, that that's enough of a bargaining chip that she maintains her place in Militech and she's the person that meets you outside. I hope so. Because, I really hope so. And I hope it comes even further than that. Like yeah. later on down the line when I meet, it's her versus the guy that I've got. Now, right, exactly. Something like that. Who's because, a, such a douche. Fucking douche. I hate that guy. Um, I, I would have so. killed him. <laughs> anyway. Because that would be cool that it's like a completely different yeah. section there. Anyway, that's that's really but, cool. Though. So my point is, it looks like those decisions yeah. of like, oh, you found a virus. Well, are you going to copy it? Are you going to delete it? Whatever. Yeah. Make more of an impact to the game than your life path. Mm. And I would like for your life path to, like, Play for example, the amount of skill. Like, I don't have very much um, hacking skill or net running stuff yeah. or intelligence. So there are certain doors that I can't get in. Right, but there are other doors because I'm I'm reflex and body yeah. that I can force open, and presumably a weak <clears throat> intelligent netrunner couldn't. Mm. And I I want your life path to physically open up or deny you certain paths. Yeah, and I want that to be the case. Whereas at the minute it's just like, oh, you don't have enough hacker ability. Well, yeah, you can't steal this car or you can't open this one door. Well, why why can't my corpo thing get me in somewhere? Yeah, that. This nomad kid or street kid can't get in mm. because I'm a, I know the way to talk, so I can bluff the guy that because I as a corpo who used to work for Arasaka. Maybe it's something that hopefully it's something that God, we get to I see later, so. you know? Because right now there's no evidence of it. And yeah, it, it seems really yeah. underwhelming. Yeah. I agree. Um, let me read a few more comments out here. Uh, be the reindeer charmer. Uh, it was Ben, but I wrote B by mistake instead of Ben, and right. now he's named himself Ben. Another name that's changed. Buzz, motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah. Um, he goes. So I'm playing on PS4. Yeah. Okay. Um, I absolutely. Oh god! Lo- oh god! Oh god! Oh god. <laughs> I absolutely love the main story. Uh, side content is good. I like the gunplay a lot. The whole skill yeah. tree, but holy shut! The performance and the glitches are a nightmare. Yeah. I can't even drive fast in Night City because there's no- uh, nothing will load in, or the game might crash. I've heard that. Apparently, it's like a CPU limitation. You drive too fast and it can't load it fast enough. Have you seen that GIF? I, uh, the video I retweeted on um, on Twitter, obviously, where you're like you're on the train. It's that first bit, and then as it plays, it goes, dun, 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 but it's like loading in GTA 5. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like uh, in a lot of scripted sequences or dialogue, things take a while to load, although it's mostly side content, it, although it's mostly side content, so it gets hard to properly get immersed. I also feel like uh, a lot has been cut out. And I wish there was a lot more detail, like sitting down on a bench. Uh, I'm not even joking, but it feels like the penis customization has been has been removed. Only four options. Oh, I see, because you thought there was probably more options. I mean, was... I thought it was only two, as far as I could tell. It was like it's... a small one and a big there's, one. There's penis one and penis two. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. It's like penis one and penis two. And they... I love that they named it that, by the way. It's like, would you like penis one, sir, or penis two? Right. In the game where you can customise everything, it makes no difference because you're not going to get to change it at any point. Um, and not that it makes any difference because yeah. it doesn't seem to make any difference. I I don't actually remember, but they seemed similar to me anyway. Mm. 
Like I was expect like it was like penis one, penis two, horse one. You know, like it should have been some dragon stuff. dildo. Right, 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 exactly. There should have been some funny stuff in there. I would have, but. Uh, last thing, I despise the UI. Am I the only one? I wish there was an option to change the color of it. I like the color because it's cyberpunk. I like the color, yeah. but okay, let's talk about this. Um, I had a mission for uh, Regina to yes. fight fight this Tiger Claw gone cyber psycho. Cyber psychos. I went, killed everyone there, killed the guy. I think she asks you to like to uh, try and save him, yeah. try and bring him in. I think even actually, I killed, I I defeated him. I thought I killed him, and he's like, oh yeah, he's knocked out cold. But no, I, t- I killed him. Come on. I stabbed him with mantis Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I could not for the life of me figure out how to contact her about this. Left that mission for like five hours, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. Try and figure it out. Tried to figure out, couldn't. Watch the YouTube tutorial, where the guy also couldn't figure out. Then he clicked one thing that I hadn't clicked. So the way you do this, if you get this mission, I forget what it's called, War and Death, or the Face of Death, something like that, is... You just have to text her. But I tried that and it there's you go to your phone and there's a text written out, but it hasn't sent. It says send text. You try and click send text, nothing happens. But then if you put your cursor over the text, it doesn't highlight. You just put your cursor over the text and hit square. And then hit send. Then it sends it. Like it doesn't even light up. It's so weird. There is some stuff that they just don't tell you yeah, in this game. It's really bad. I didn't have like, for example, you know the stuff that uh the the like you said for the the foods and stuff like that never explained to you no only because that i know the witcher that i know these things how they work and whatnot but i feel sorry for people who've never played the witcher i only even looked at the food when i realized that i wasn't selling it you know you can sell all your junk like the ashtrays and stuff that you pick up or whatever and the dildos and your studs i'm like oh there's there's a food tab that's weird and i opened it and there was tons of food in there i'm like what the frick and i go to one of them it's like oh applies the nourished uh trait to you which is like plus five percent health and one health every second outside of combat or something like Mm. oh cool it's like the witcher but it never actually occurred to me to look it just happened that i saw there was a food tab and went down on the ui as well that tab like when you're looking at your weapons and stuff very clunky you let's say you like dismantle one to save yourself some weight which isn't how it works because it would still be the same weight just dismantled right okay like okay it's a mechanic to save. yeah. yeah fine but when you dismantle it, it's like... The it, whole it go- thing shifts. It like goes up and down. And I'm like, what the hell is going on The here? whole thing shifts. And like the armor is weird. Like, was it saying it on this one or on the last one? Like the best be- bit of upper armor I had was like this weird red corset. But then like, the, the, I, I had actual Arasaka battle armor that was like five armor less. But it was an, a bulletproof vest. And this thing was literally a corset. So my male V is running on a red <laughs> lacy corset. <laughs> Looking ridiculous. Yeah. The, the best stuff looks like garbage. Yeah. It looks like garbage. It's like, there's no like... I mean, I know this isn't a, a, an MMO or anything yeah. like that, but it doesn't have any transmog, so no. you can't like take the attributes yeah. and put it on something. But uh, the, the like, cool... you're not looking at him because it's not third person. But even still, like when I get into vehicles or when I get on the, the bike, yeah, like I am looking at him and it yeah. looks like garbage, absolute garbage. I, one of those, what's that straw hat? The Asian straw hat. Yeah, yeah. That was my best hat for one point. Yeah. And I was like rolling around. I'm on a bike and I've got a straw hat. Do you have this bug where if you look at yourself in the mirror and you're wearing a hat, he's bald. I saw that and I was freaked the, I hell, like, out. What the hell out. I was like, whoa, whoa. I get that. What's I going on? One thing. If you go to the main thing, there's a, a, an empty slot. And if you click that, I don't know how I got it, but I have this set of bandages. And it says, like, doesn't do anything to you. It just applies the bandage look to you. And it just says, like, sometimes it doesn't matter how you look. And it is basically a transmog, which is you can have all your armor on. But whenever you look at yourself, it looks like you've just got out of a hospital. You're wearing, like, hospital... Hmm. trousers and your bandage I'll send you a picture yeah send me a picture but it's it's freaking weird but the thing is that I love the V jacket right? it's sick I haven't found it's it sick. yet or yeah. whatnot. but if I was to get that I would style my character off a V and then yeah. that would be my look 100% even I will I will or if there's different colour variations at the, at of the it or cost something of like that. all of my stats I'll wear that jacket yeah it's but sick. I can't because yeah. that's suicide yeah. I'm not going to go into a boss fight gimped like are that. there boss fights yeah, yeah, like... Oh, well, I mean, I found that Tiger Claw with the Mantis, guys. Yeah. I tried to fight him at, like, level five. And you fought Royce as well, right? I didn't fight No, Royce, I just but... murdered him straight up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, well... So in, the first in... thing that happens is you just break his neck. I know there's a version that you can go... And you're... Royce is at the end and you fight. It's in one oh, of the yeah. trailers and whatnot. And there's going to be one for the animals as well. I've seen that in the trailer. The big Sasquatch one yeah, with yeah, the yeah. thing. So the, there are boss fights. It may not have been Royce. It might have been Brick. Maybe. Because I don't know if you... Kn- Maybe you don't know this. Do you know Brick's still around? No. 
brick is still around. I was going to say, I know the story of it because it was told in the thing. Yeah. Anyway, no more spoilers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would love to look like that. But you would, if it, if, if that was the you found that it's early like on, one or armor, like that. but your red corset's like seven hundred armor. You have to run around in a red corset. Exactly. Yeah. So dumb. Um, all right, let's read a few more of these. Now it gets oh, into the big ones. Let's that talk I'm about glitches over. that you and I have experienced. Okay, so we spoke ahead. about the hat thing. What's someone else? Something else we got? We've had crashes, both of us. Yeah. I had a a, a couple of T poses. Only oh like a few. God. of I'm them. so glad you said this. Go on. So I watched your video, which we're going to link, and for once, remember to put it in the card so it pops up here. Should be up there. There should be a a, a thing where you can... Somewhere. Yeah, recommended videos. Um, and we'll link in the description, whatever. You found these um, legendary Mantis Claws, yes. which, by the way, you can get at any level. So the very first thing I'm doing next game gameplay playthrough, I'm getting these at level one. Because <laughs> they're sick. Um, but... I, I just got them and I was running, sprinting around like murking cars and just freaking stuff up, right? And I'm sprinting as fast as I can because my guy's also very fast. I'm like 11 in reflex and stuff. Right. And, uh, and I look and start cracking up because I'm sprinting with these mantis blades and my shadow's just doing this. <laughs> really? The whole, <laughs> I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting and my shadow's in front of me. <laughs> I got Mantis blades out and it looks like his arms look like they're expanded at the elbow like Popeye right but there's no Mantis blades he's just and I'm sprinting <laughs> attacking cars and my shadow's just there like yeah jumping like yeah get, wow. get fricked ting 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 get fricked you, you should try um, go, engaging photo freezing. mode to see what you look like in those scenes you might be in t <laughs> oh, I didn't think about it I did screenshot it but I, like the oh. shadow, but I didn't think about that. I'll you do next time. That. I, yeah, I'll that's do that. hilarious. I'll do that. Bad, but hilarious. Yeah, it's so dumb. I've had one other bug, and this is like a small thing as well. I think I mentioned to you where like the um, when you're at the afterlife mm -hmm. uh, bar, yeah. um, the bartender woman, she sometimes she was, she was like, oh hey V, <coughs> what will it be? And she puts her hand down, but the glass she was holding, I think they've modelled it to be on her thumb. Right. So when she opens, so she's holding it like that, but then when she opens up her hand. It's just floating on her thumb and it's halfway through the is desk. Is it still up or is it like No, no, down? sideways. Sideways. And the, but the liquid is like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> Wait, the liquid's in the air. No, the, the, the liquid is in the cup okay. as it would be, but then they just turn the whole thing sideways and, they, and she's like, what will it be? And I'm like... I've had a few floating things. I'll have that glass, please. Yeah. <laughs> I've had, uh, like, you walk in somewhere and there's, like, just a box of ammo just floating somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I had... What was on ahead? Uh, you go to Royce's mum's bar or the bar that she's at, yeah. and there's a guy talking about moving the pool table, and he leans over it, but he's like six inches off the table, so he's like, he's like, yeah, maybe we should move this thing. Yeah, I've had a few of those, which are kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nothing like really immersion breaking, I've, but I've seen a couple. I, bad I've been ones. cracked up by them. Yeah. Most. I mean, the the hat thing was pretty creepy. That was creepy. That was pretty creepy. I was like, I don't want to look in the mirror anymore. Um, I've seen a couple of bad ones online of people like they're driving, they go around the corner and they hit a pedestrian, but it's like the path of pedestrian was still active. So it would flip the car over and it would be almost right. like the person did a smackdown on the car. Right, it was like, right, right, smack! Right. It was like, whoa! I had one way, you know, the Delamain mission where you're tracking down the other ta the taxis or yeah. whatever, where it stopped and I rear-ended it and it just went up on top of my thing. Lovely. And But it was in the car. And so, like, the back end of the Delamain cab wasn't on the front of my car. It was, like, in the front of my car. Ah. And I, then it was like, get out. And I had the text thing and couldn't select oh. it. And I had to restart the mission and check it. That was so freaking annoying. Yeah. Some of those are weird. Like, what's the beef with flamingos? What's I the know. beef? Why are you so worried about them, huh? Flamingo what are they racist. doing to you? What, um, what uh, weapons are you using? Uh, I like to have a bit of everything. So I have my Mantis Blade, so I'm sorted for yeah, blades and yeah. whatnot. I was using a katana before that. But um, I usually have like a handgun, a shotgun, and a, and a SMG or okay. something like that. Yeah. Or AR one. What about you? I've, I'm specking into pistols. Okay. Because I found this one, like, revolver thing that's like a shotgun. And man, the first time I picked that up, it just destroyed this dude. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, cool, I'm going to be a pistol dude. Done. But the amount, the spec tree is actually looking really interesting to me. I've only seen, I've only paid my, any attention to the reflex one. The one that's like blades, pistols, and there's, I think rifles. There's a lot, man. Like, yeah. I, I, I looked at them and I was like, okay, I have 18 of them that I want now. So this is the two thing. points. <laughs> this is the thing. This is where like cyberpunk 
we were hoping there'd be so many different ways to play it would make a difference yeah. because in the witcher there's three trees yeah. right you got your science tree your potions tree your sword tree yeah and there actually is a best spec if you go the green one the potions that's actually that's the it gives you the best advantage right you can have like three potions and two decoctions up the whole time you just wreck stuff especially yeah. if you get good ones and then you can put a couple points into your swords or your science mm -hmm. right that's the way you have the easiest time of the game or the, you become more powerful, whatever. In this, there's so many different ways to go, and they all look really interesting. They all look like they're actually quite good, although I haven't actually seen the bleeding effect on anyone, because mm. um, that's on one of the blade specs, because I'm in that field. That's the, where I'm specking. Yeah. Um, and I just, I've never seen it applied anywhere, so I don't see the use of adding to it, because I haven't actually seen it work. But, um, like, it doesn't seem like it, affects anything like you know we we're saying the net running and the breaking the codes and hacking and stuff doesn't seem as useful as we seems were hoping it might be. okay but you'd think very... it'd be really useful in cyberpunk right yes so but maybe jacking in jacking in to you the, the i've come to a lot of terminals where it's like jack in but i've i've got like three and you need six yeah and i don't have anywhere near enough intelligence or whatever it is like maybe that opens up the game in a way i didn't know yeah but so far i've hacked a few consoles and all I find in their emails is the same spam that's in my email. Like, you, having trouble getting hard? Here's a free yeah. porn subscription. Be careful of scams. And it's a scam email, you know? Yeah. Like, it, so I, I don't know. I'm enjoying it, though. Solid day, I that's think. the thing. The, the story is, is the only thing that's gripping me at the moment. And it's it's got hold of me good. Yeah. Enough to keep me there, at least. What, how do you find Johnny? I don't know. I hate the way he looks. I think he's he does look low resolution. Yeah. I think he needs a bit more, and the lighting effects on him and stuff like that. His acting is, is nice. His acting is great. Yeah, I like but that. the the model, I I just feel like is really out of place. Mm. I would, I said it in the last thing. I think they should, until we get the next gen patch, especially for us on next gen, yeah. I think they should add in a glitch where he's you, like kind of glitching, like his, you know, he's like pixelating and changing. And do you have lines going down? Sometimes, right? yeah. Okay, I was gonna say because you mentioned it, and I was like, do you have? Is it's it some not, sort of glitch that you is, don't have it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, the thing is, it's not enough. It's like, not it's enough. not enough to obscure a lot of him. No. And I feel like it should be cracking in and out so that even though it makes up for him being low res, because you're like, oh well, you know, he's having a hard time making his way through to V. Mm. You know, he's like mm. trying to break the barrier and speak to V, and stuff's breaking, and maybe like have him move and double glitch when he goes somewhere, yeah. and then. It's like you, he's still speaking to you, but like it will make up for the fact that he's low res. I think he still seems like an NPC there yeah. rather than actually somebody in your head and whatnot. Yeah. At least, but I understand what you mean now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Juice Santa. Yes. Says I love uh, that. I hate that you will change your names, but I also <laughs> love it. Go on. <laughs> he's playing on PC. Cool. He says, uh, I've said it be before how I think there is a lot of very misleading marketing with the game yeah. and things that looked very good in the trailers were cut out and I can't forgive CDPR for that. As for the game itself, I find it quite enjoyable. Bugs aside, I'm still missing some features and as far and it's far from perfect, yeah. but it's a good game. It's like Spider-Man PS4. No masterpiece, but it's a very good nonetheless. And the UI also is pretty bad. The world map is horrendous. It's, yeah. it's not so great. Um... Uh, I haven't had any crashes, mostly bugs that were visual at first. Um, there are some... There's one where changing the volume makes V suddenly look up or down. <laughs> Why that is. Oh, um, that's a bug that I've had go on. talking about this. So I've had bugs where I'll walk into something or start something and he's just looking at the ceiling. And this right. is one that really bugs me. When I, I've often started the game, like this morning when I started playing, my inversion settings changed. I mean that's for your good though. That's that's like you should Freak be. That. You should not be inverted. I, the really thing nice. is, right? I I change the setting, save my game, and it's in that setting. And come back to it, and the settings change. That's true. That's, that's happened irritating. to me as well. Yeah. And with the chromatic abrasion thing, yeah. like I I I'm like okay, it looks beautiful. Next time I come back to it, sometimes it's just oh, like it's I need gone. to check that. Yeah, check it because yeah. it will turn it off. The HDR setting keeps turning off yeah. as well. Like, no, well, that's no, what no. That. Look, I, I changed this for a reason and saved it. Stick to my mm. settings. That's yeah. really bugging me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he goes, duh, 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 duh. Uh, I've died because I ran into a basket. 
that's interesting. And I've had low FPS in crowded areas and pretty str and I and I'm on a pretty strong PC. Also, controls can't be re really be changed because not only are half the controls not mappable, but once you change it, it reverts back to the original after there loading any save. There you go. Uh, even after making changes to the control. That's got to be really annoying because the yeah. control one's like fine tuning. I like that button here, I like that. Yeah. And then just wipe it all and then yeah. start again. God so damn, funny that, so Rob had this glitch where he vaulted over a bollard, died. Just like landed dead, uh, dead. Because yeah, flatline, you know, yeah. that's tough right there. It's that's tough. tough. Yeah. tough. Um, -na 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 -na. <laughs> He goes, I felt the story began strong and then added way too much to it to the point where I felt like it was getting quite convoluted. Uh, there's quite a lot that. happening and uh, lots of new stuff being thrown at me. I probably sound like an idiot for not understanding the story, but I don't think they've done a great job at explaining it all well. Okay. It might get too complicated later on. I, so far, do. I'm okay. I'm going to say, so Rob's finished it, mm -hmm. at least one playthrough. And being that he, he's basically a, a... You know how Adam... Bindis, he's a CB, CDPR show, yeah. 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 We, so you know how some of our guys are like Star Wars encyclopedias. Adam he's like a, yeah. yeah, he's a cyberpunk guy, and he he basically said, um, "This is a game for normies." Like it's not enough. Yeah, he was like, "This is not cyberpunk the way I know it. It's not cyberpunk even the way because you know he's uh, the game master for my tabletop yeah. game." <clears throat> He's like, you've already seen 10 times more cyberpunk lore than this game shows. I think that's what it was, how yeah. it was going to be in the f anyway, because, yeah. I mean, he's probably got hundreds of hours of experience more. into more. the... More. You can't convey yeah. that no. in this game, no, possibly. You can't. You can't. So, yeah. But it's inter it's funny, because he's like, there's too much going on, and Rob complains. This is not enough. <laughs> there's nowhere near enough. It's for normies. It's like, <laughs> there's no lore. It's really, like, washed, you know. Uh, he continues going. I think James p uh, put it well on the recent as all uh, as 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 I don't know what the fuck stupid know, podcast. Yeah. Um, it's a Bethesda game, but Bethesda does it better. Wow. Wow. Um, James, the guy likes AC Valhalla. <laughs> yeah. And um, he goes where whereas Bethesda does a lower quality games uh, that are really fun. Then you have Rockstar have open world games that are much higher quality but not as fun. Cyberpunk kind of falls weirdly in the middle and ends up being not that high quality but not that fun either. Um, at the moment, at least. I'm anyway. finding it a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah I'm having fun. <clears throat> he goes, assuming they patch most of the bugs out and fix the non-existent AI, which is true, I'd, give, is it very a, true. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10. Wow. Uh, I just posted a whole review. You basically did. I'm going to say this as well, but the AI is basically <clears throat> non-existent, which I, I totally agree. That's one of the reasons I'm <clears throat> quite glad that this playthrough i'm going like full toe to toe because the only way for the game to be challenging at all is to um to have to fight seven type claws at once yeah you know because i'm not i'm not mr set it to infinity difficulty i'm not like corwin who's trying to who's playing doom eternal on nightmare and stuff right yeah ultra nightmare i mean like that isn't any fun to me but i mean <clears throat> you shouldn't be able to walk up to seven gang members and ice two of them before they go hey you hey. know you shouldn't do that and oh, then you walk, around, you, you walk around a van like oh, where'd he go you know and then you hack a tv and they're like oh hey this tv turned you know it's it's so i feel that um Top Bobin writes out a big one, so I'm going to pick and choose things. Yeah, cool. right here. He goes, uh, I, I'm loving the driving. Uh, if, well, first of all, he says, promise I won't make this long. And he's the longest one there. Liar. Uh, Liar. So far, I'm enjoying the game a lot. The story is quite interesting. Most side content is fun and interesting. Uh, I'm loving the driving a lot. He goes, uh, personally, it's my fav favorite is playing on the motorcycle because I get to weave through traffic at like 250 miles an hour. Yeah. The world is actually full of life. Yeah, right. Kind of. Yeah, it's, it's a game there. Um, I'm always seeing people in traffic, especially in the dense build-up areas. There's a lot of cars, <clears throat> yeah, but not so much in the, not so many people. It's like specific areas that yeah. seem to have uh, people. Um, I don't understand why they didn't show the PS4 slash PS5 uh, gameplay we got. It did seem like the gameplay that they showed was different to what we got. Yeah, we, I agree. There, there are more people in the one that they showed. Yeah, I agree. Which I don't understand why they did that. It's weird, isn't it? Anyway, um, <clears throat> gunplay is fun. I uh, really like the look of the liked it more than the gameplay looked, no. but I never liked it as much as the sword combat in The Witcher, yeah, uh, which actually started the katana was quite fun. Uh, the bugs, as for bugs, on the PS5, it's very mild bugs that have been really that aren't really a big issue. The worst thing that's happened to me is that my vehicle just spawns underneath mine. Uh, 
while it's parked so the car blows up when I go near it. The worst thing is that it crashes. I've had eight crashes. Okay. Um, now since starting, I put about 13 hours into it. Yes, it's similar for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, City Centre, Lizzie's Bar. So have you been hit and run by your car? I haven't, no. If you summon your car and move in the wrong place when it's coming, because you... It says that it's coming on the map, but you don't necessarily know which direction it's coming yeah. from. So I moved, I sat in the car, moved a bit, and it was, so I I moved into where it was going, and it just ran me over. <laughs> Didn't kill me, but like just knocked me down. I'm like, what the, f- what the frick? I own you. <laughs> yeah. And the bike did it to me as well. I haven't had the bike. God damn it. Could you imagine being hit by a bike? By the way, if you guys don't the know... The bike is funny to watch coming. It's just like a... <laughs> have you not had it like... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what it does yeah, every yeah. time. It's like... <laughs> no, it doesn't do it for me every time, but... It... <laughs> for me every time. Every time. Um, if you guys didn't know, Arch is uh, is Keanu Reeves' actual motorcycle company. Are they expensive? Expensive. They're like 45k starting. <clears throat> Top or a bit later on down after yep. a bunch of people started talking. He's like, oh shit, I just realised Eddie said nice little paragraph. <sighs> Mother fricker. <laughs> Well, it's okay. Eddie really likes re- he likes it really. You do like to read, and you're very good at it. Exactly. And this is it's part of the brand. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna limit it to oh fuck yes, there's so many other. I'm gonna remember the people that didn't that I'm not gonna read out now. And when we do the full on review, I'll, okay. I'll prioritize them yeah. first because it's getting too much now. Um, Cobra's rising with a small one. He goes for the show. I'm on PS4 Pro, and despite the odd graphical glitches and the frame stutter, the game is an absolute blast. I I'm uh, glad it doesn't have the. It does have the odd crashes, but that isn't the problem with auto saving being on point. Uh, but the menu problems and loading and loading drives me mad. Yeah, I did. It did just occur to me that I'm having similar experience to to Skyrim and Oblivion, so I can see myself looking back at this fondly, uh, looking back at this fondly on this game years from now. Good. Yeah. So that's uh, that's something. I'm right glad now. to hear that. I will say that. Um, I completely lost my train of thought there. Complete, completely, completely lost, lost it. It's it. gone. It's totally well, gone. if it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, it kind of, kind of been that important. Um, I'm looking forward to playing more of this game. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it as well. I I have to say, more than... like While I'm looking forward to now telling you to mm. get lost uh, so I can play the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, God, I can't wait to get out of this freaking hellhole. Uh, it's awful. The only reason I come now is because of Isla. Yeah, and I don't like, really like her, so... <laughs> no, Jake, well, good, I feel bad you. saying that, god damn it. She's actually like... No joke, the first thing I do is like, I come, put my stuff down, and then go and play with Isla, yeah. if she's up, yeah. <clears throat> While I'm looking forward to making you go so I can play the game again, the thing that I'm really looking forward to is hopefully the next-gen patch that brings us more than just yeah. visual upgrades. <clears throat> I hope it's a whole massive thing that opens up this yeah. game that brings everybody back yeah. and is so good that it overwrites what we felt at the beginning yeah. of this. And everyone just goes, yeah, but the game is amazing like, now. Yeah, absolutely. And look, a rocky start sucks, but if the game's great, people are going to ignore the rocky start, I, th- I think. if In terms of glitch, like it's funny I say that because people hate The Last of Us too, but mm. I don't think that game was great. And it didn't have any glitches as far as yeah. I could tell. I will say that in terms of glitches, like Jedi Fallen Order, which is Star Wars, and I am so invested in Star Wars, made me not like the game. Like there was f- f- a lot of issues, like things that I found unforgivable you in Jedi Fallen Order. I had a ton of glitch, like every glitch you can imagine, w- way more. No crashes, but especially with the speed of the PS5, the crashes aren't that inconvenient. Yeah. But it made me not want to play it. And I had no investment whatsoever in Cal Kestis. Like, none. And none in his crew. Like, nothing. The only people I had any investment in at all were the um, the chick from Dathomir that yeah. joined you, the witch. And, um, one. Yeah. And uh, the um, some of the enemies. The, the chicks. The sisters. Yeah. And it made me not want to play the game because of a lot of those glitches, right? Some of them were really annoying. Mm. But this, like, I actually am invested in V more than I thought I would be. Yeah. I'm invested in the main story. I want to see where it goes, and at least I'm having an easy time following it so far. Mm. And every character we've met that's on the main path, really interesting, deep, like, actual actual people, right? Actual characters with backstories and, and opinions and, and hobbies and all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'm loving it, and I hope you're right. I hope this next-gen patch, like, clears up all the bugs... Adds a little bit more life to the city, and I I think you're right. I think Chris is right that in a few years we're going to look back at this and say it's great. I th- I get the impression that having not played 
and finished the story mm. haven't hardly played the story that the Witcher 3 is going to top it right it's not going to be as good right as the now. Witcher 3 yeah as it stands right now and uh, with the next gen update thing yeah. like I said it, like we said uh, the Witcher came out buggy yeah but, but then they improved upon it and it was such a good game afterwards that it revolutionized yeah. gaming at least that in part of the game yeah and it created something amazing that people will now copy it's gonna have to take something like that it's, yeah it's the content update whatever it's gonna be is gonna come along has to do something to pull it out of the the hell that it's yeah. in right now where people are thinking of it as a terrible game yeah. i mean little life of uh, quality of life things would be good like changing the looting system to mm-hmm. be more like Ghost of Tsushima where you just like click got it all you know that would be nice someone said something to me yeah. I hope this isn't the case they said The Witcher 3 is the third in the franchise yeah. and that's why it's so good because they've nailed it yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it doesn't be that like well Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be shit because it's because it's the, the first. first one and then we have to wait for the second or the third one for it to I'll actually say, be good I'm enjoying it Right, now, and I think they'll get the bugs all cleared up. And if it gets to a third one, and the third one is the best, mm. if this is the first, that game's going to be really good. I hope so. The game's God, if we really have to good. wait that long, yeah, I'm going to be an old man. I'm going to have like 18. We're already old men. Yeah, we are yeah. actually. Yeah, look at us beards. And We're stuff boomers like that. and stuff. Yeah. We're boomers. The kids nowadays, they're looking at us. They're like, look at these old farts. It's <laughs> all the same. All right, bro. That's our. Not so brief. Uh, uh, initial impressions no. on the Cyberpunk 2077. It's buggy a but fun. Yeah, buggy but fun. For us on PS5. And hope it opens up even more. And I hope CDPR can salvage yeah. this game because there is something there. My big deal is I hope our decisions have an impact. Yes. Like a meaningful impact on the game and how it progresses. Maybe we're asking too much. Maybe we're asking for a game that only comes out in 50 years' time. Like we're kind of putting a lot of demands on what we want from gaming maybe but i hope i hope it's good and i'd like to see that it fixes it and we get the content and next gen updates and it's all good and then we get some sick ass dlc yeah i was gonna say dlp then i don't know what that is downloadable play downloadable people we That's download it. people there we, there we go people so yeah i i mean i've i gotta be honest i called a lot of what's happening like from the early revelations, I'm like, yeah, I guess that, I guess that, I guess that, I guess that. Yeah. But it's good. We'll see how it goes from here on out, right? Hopefully there'll be a Cyberpunk 2 yeah. that's also good. That's well, my, where I'm at. We'll reconvene and we'll give it our final over-the-top impressions, like how everything's gone, maybe January time, yeah. something like that. I think that would give us If good you've time. done all of the sad content, you've actually moved on to the main Gen- Yeah, I should be almost finished my first playthrough by then. Oh, well, yeah, it should be, maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> by early January. Um, and then we can really talk about it and give it our final seal on it and go, yeah. this was good, this was bad. Yeah. And also maybe then we'll get a patch or something we can see how it stands. Fingers crossed, then. yeah, January should be the first big patch. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully by like the end of January the game is like just works. I would love to have in six months' time, eight months' time, end of 2021, <clears throat> we make a video that says Cyberpunk is amazing now. Yeah. This Cyberpunk's is amazing the now. game. Can't wait for the DLC they've announced. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that would be the best timeline for sure. That would be the best timeline. Anyway, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> um, thanks a lot for chatting with me. Thanks everybody as well at home watching us. Thank and, you, uh, gamers, and, and everybody who wrote in as well. You guys are all legends for doing that. Sorry, um, I couldn't read all of them. There were some essays. I asked for not essays. You, you broke for the not rules. essays. Yeah, that's you right. You broke the rules of engagement. Yeah, yeah. So you. <laughs> I wish we could say the same about the audio virgins, but yeah, they. De- who are they? Yeah, I was going to say thanks for listening, but I get fricked. The only thing we can give you is a wet sound in your ear. I hate that so much. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll catch you all in the next one. And bro, I'll catch yeah. you in the next one. Oh, we're doing... Oh, we, maybe we shouldn't do the fist. I'll not, fist I'm you I'm not fisting day, you ever again. Come on, man. Fist me. <laughs> Come on. What's that from? <laughs> fist <don't>... your father. <laughs> what is that from? I don't know what it's from. That's funny, though. Anyway. Just fist me. It's okay. Cyberpunk. Good but glitchy. Yes. Uh, it only took us an hour and a half to get there. Yeah, that was a... You're lucky. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Catch you later, yeah. guys.